Since 1955, Disneyland has seen various attractions come and go to its park. When these attractions are removed and replaced, they sometimes leave remnants of Disneyland's history behind. Here are some remnants of extinct Disneyland attractions. When Tomorrowland opened in 1955, the main attraction in the land was the Astro Jets, before more attractions were added over the years. In 1967, Tomorrowland received an overhaul, with the addition of a people mover, taking guests on a relaxing journey around Tomorrowland. With the people mover's addition, the Astro Jets were placed on top of a people mover loading station and renamed Rocket Jets. In 1997, Tomorrowland underwent another overhaul known as Tomorrowland 2055, taking on a steampunk theme reminiscent of Discoveryland in Disneyland Paris. As part of this transformation, the People Mover was closed in 1995 to be replaced by the short-lived attraction Rocket Rods, which opened in 1998. Meanwhile, the Rocket Jets was replaced by the Astro Orbiter, which was too heavy for the former Rocket Jets platform. Instead, the Astro Orbiter was moved to Tomorrowland's entrance. The Rocket Jets vehicles and to People Mover vehicles could initially be seen in the Rocket Rods queue before that attraction officially closed in 2001. Many of the Rocket Jets vehicles were sold at a 2005 auction except for one. Inside the store command shop at the end of Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, which replaced Rocket Rods queue, you could find a Rocket Jets vehicle disguised as a shelving unit. Additionally, the cashier former people mover vehicle, keeping a little bit of Tomorrowland's history in the store. A bonus remnant is linked to Rocket Rods and the people mover. When Rocket Rods opened in 1998, it took guests on a speedy race around Tomorrowland, banking on corners and performing wheelies. However, the people mover track the Rocket Rods were on was not built for a thrill ride to be on it. As a result, the track and ride system were left damaged by the vehicles and the attraction continually broke down. The attraction was closed in September 2004 for refurbishment, but work was never done on the attraction. Rocket Rods was officially announced to have closed in April 2001. The former People Mover and Rocket Rods track can still be seen in Tomorrowland, despite nothing being on that track for over 20 years. Whilst rumours occasionally surface that the People Mover will return, it would need serious investment to fix the mess Rocket Rods made. In 1974, America Sings opened in Tomorrowland in the former location of Carousel of Progress. The show was hosted by Sam the Eagle inside of a rotating theatre, with guests experiencing scenes representing different eras of American music. Throughout the show, various animals would perform songs from these eras, including some geese singing I've been working on the railroad, she may be somebody's mother, and the Dark Town Strutters Ball. After the attraction closed in 1988, the majority of the animatronics were incorporated into the design of Splash Mountain, except for the geese. Instead, two of these geese were transformed into the G2 droids in the queue area for Star Tours, who could be seen fixing things at the spaceport. With Splash Mountain closing and being replaced in 2024 by Tiana's Bayou Adventure, Hopefully, the old America Sings animatronics will find a new home in that attraction. Until then, the G2 droids are currently the last remnants of America Sings. The final remnant we'll discuss today takes us to Critter Country. In 1972, the Country Bear Jamboree opened with Bear Country, with guests entering Grizzly Hall to witness 18 animatronic bears performing various humorous songs. Whilst the attraction was popular in Florida, it was less so in California. In 1986, the original version was replaced with the Country Bear Vacation Hoedown, which remained until the attraction was closed in 2001. The attraction's show building was repurposed to make way for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh Dark Ride, which would open in Critter Country in 2003. As you emerge from the Heffalumps and Boozle scene, look back and you can see a remnant from Grizzly Hall. The trophy heads of Max the Buck, Buff the Buffalo and Melvin the Moose from the Country Bear Jamboree can still be seen continue to greet guests as they exit the scene like they used to in Grizzly Hall. Another remnant from Country Bear Vacation Hoedown can also be found at Disney California Adventure. When Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout opened in 2017, its queue was filled with several Marvel and Disney Parks easter eggs. One of these is Dolores the Octopus, the girlfriend of a bear called Shaker, who performed the song Two Different Worlds with Dolores in the show. 
it is nice to see this niche piece of Disney history inside of a Mission Breakout queue. Remnants of several former attractions in Tomorrowland can still be found in the land, both in Store Command, Star Tours, and the long standing People Mover track. Meanwhile, the original attraction in Critter Country has left a secret remnant in its successor to pay homage to what was there before. What other remnants would you like to see covered on the channel? Let me know in the comments down below.